Conclu- concluding message to be doing the conclusion on our series Kingdom Rewards. Kingdom Rewards. It's very important to remind ourselves that this is a series and please listen in a sequence so you get the complete understanding. Father, we thank you for the privilege of breaking bread. Thank you, Lord, that your word is bread, eternal bread, and perishable bread. Thank you that your word is able to fit us, fit our spirit, our soul, and even transform our body as we listen, as we fellowship, as we interact with your spirit through this word. I thank you because understanding is made simple. Enlightenment of our spirit, oh God, will bring about the understanding and the transformation that you intended when you created us. That alignment will happen. Purpose will be done with ease because you are the God that has never failed and you will never fail. And I thank you because this word is coming unhindered by any satanic force. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I take dominion. I command every contrary spirit to bow in the name of Jesus. I command let the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Let your ears be open. We unstuck the lies of the enemy, speaking false accusations. The colonies again the be in the car. We decree and declare that this word is coming with the understanding that will cause you to arise and take authority over lying spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and I declare that everyone under the sound of my voice is going free from the captivity of the devil. Everything that is not of the kingdom of God, I take pleasure in telling you out in the name of Jesus. Right now, I decree and I declare this is the word that will bring about the transformation and the positioning that will release kingdom rewards into your life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, thank you. All right, as we conclude today, a few reminders. Hallelujah. A few reminders. The first reminder is the earth and the fullness thereof and all that in it belongs to our God. We have seen throughout the series that our kingdom, the kingdom of the word, the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God is the kingdom that will last forever. Every other kingdom will pass away. We have seen it throughout the teaching. We have also said to that in this world, there are two kingdoms. And whichever Whatever kingdom, the kingdom of light or the kingdom of darkness that you choose to participate in. Did you hear the choice of word? It is a choice to participate in the kingdom of light or in the kingdom of darkness. We went at length in our first message in this series to expose rewards, especially kingdom rewards. We settled on the fact that It is our daddy's will to do what? Reward us. We also said to that rewards are for kingdom rewards, kingdom rewards are for doing kingdom assignments. It's for doing the word of God. It's for doing the instruction that was given to you 
in that situation. It's very easy. Many people serve God with the prodigal big brother mindset. And if God is not a rewarder, we have settled, I hope you have, that our God is a rewarder. But who does he reward? He rewards those that diligently seek him. Oh, I know you remember this. We say you can seek anything else, you will never be rewarded. But when you seek God, you seek him diligently, he will reward you. Why? Because that's his nature. Why? Because that is how he set up the world. Remember, he owns the world and the people thereof. He set everything in place so that if you, when you diligently seek him, you'll be rewarded. I hope you remember that we saw that these rewards are earthly and they are also kingdom uh, spiritual or heavenly rewards. There are rewards that will be given to us why on earth and there are rewards that we will receive when we go to heaven before making our way back to the new earth. It's very important to remember that nobody can be rewarded in this kingdom for doing nothing. Rewards are work bound. Rewards are given for work done. Rewards are given because something was done. Rewards are given because you followed an assignment and did your part. As we conclude today, we want to zoom on the posterity aspect of reward. Somebody type it in. Rewards affect our lineage. Rewards affect our legacy. Rewards affect our children. Remember, I want to say this. Rewards are not your inheritance. Maybe I make that difference. In this kingdom, their inheritance, like healing, um, inheritance because Jesus died so we can have them. Example healing, you don't have to walk to be healed, but there is something you can do to make sure you do not even get sick. It is called service. It's if you serve me, we saw that in Exodus chapter 23, verse 5. If you serve me, I will bless your water and your bread, meaning sickness will not even come close. Yes, there is something for divine healing, but above divine healing is divine health. Above divine health is even divine atmosphere. When you, when you show up, people get healed. You know, that's the realm at which our apostle Peter operated. He operated in the level of divine atmosphere, or he walks in it. When he walks in it, anybody around him gets you. I'm telling you, that's the atmosphere. That's the realm I want to go. I want to operate in, but let's be honest with ourselves. The level of divine healing, divine health is available for every child of God. But there are some things you can do in this kingdom that will bring about revelation, understanding, and the manifestation of different realms. You begin to walk in some things that are not common to every child of God. That's why in the kingdom of God, there are corridors. <laughs> they are what corridors. Jesus speaking to the Pharisees. He said, you Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you have entered the kingdom and you are the door. That tells us the kingdom is big and there are dimensions. Now, I believe that was for somebody. Let's come back into our teaching. The posterity or legacy level of reward. I want us to remember that as we serve God, as we do things, we do acts of service in this kingdom, in this case, we're meaning doing things for the Lord and for the children of God. Remember another definition, there's so many definitions of the kingdom of God. We saw that in our first teaching. I will ask that you go back and listen. This aspect of what that are being rewarded is focused on the definition that the kingdom of god is the father's reign the father and his children's reign whatever you do to see that the agenda of god 
The dominion agenda is agenda to bless man. His agenda to cause man or give man the power to dominate and rule the earth come to pass every time you position yourself intentionally to do your part. Listen, you're rewarded. But it is not just for you. Have you read your Bible? The book of Psalms says, a good man, you can say, a righteous man, a kingdom man, a kingdom woman, lives and in everything for her children's children. You know, a lot of people focus more on generational curses. Can I submit to you that there's something called generational prosperity, generational rewards? Don't be this. Deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sow, he will reap. It's not only bad things. If you sow good things, you will reap. Looking at this, at, at these posterity or legacy level of rewards, a few things I want us to remember. Kingdom prosperity is huge. <laughs> it's large. You cannot finish it in your generation. That's the thing. I don't care how useless, bargain, extra spending you get. If daddy truly lay his blessing on you, if you truly activate, I want to put it in a better way. If you truly activate the blessing that God has already released, to his kingdom children, if you activate it by your works, no, <laughs> my, 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 you cannot finish it. I don't care how extravagant you are, you will not finish it. This is the reason for the posterity or the legacy level of kingdom rewards. These rewards are eternal. These rewards are large. They are big. Listen to what he said concerning our father, Papa Abraham. He said, the reason why we can't hide anything from him going to Sodom and Gomorrah is because <laughs> this man is going to be <laughs> the God, the father of the whole world. I hope you know Papa Abraham was given the whole world. He says, he's going to be the father of the whole world. And he's going to train his children to do the kingdom life of what? Righteousness, justice, integrity. He said, therefore, let's tell him. The secrets of God are with those who fear him. The rewards of God are with those who fear him. The secrets of God are passed down in the lineage, in the generation of a man or woman that says, I choose the kingdom. Aren't you grateful? Aren't you happy? And oh my, 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 I'm super grateful. Every single time I think about redemption, that God never let me live this life without my reinstatement to dominion. He created man for dominion. Man felt he sent Jesus to reinstate us to dominion. And look at the benefits. Look at the package of dominion. Kingdom rewards. Why are kingdom rewards possible? We saw that because of redemption. Do you know that the benefits of, the, of, of redemption also include the salvation of your household? Do you believe that? Your household is everybody in your environment. If you call them friends, they're part of your household. Their spiritual family, they're part of your household, biological, whoever you approve, you need to hear this. Whoever you approve in your environment is part of your household. It's not just those living in the building where you live. The Lord said, the reason why we can't hide anything from Papa Abraham is because he's going to command his children. You realize that God thinks generationally. The father thinks transgenerational, not just generational, plenty of generations ahead. I'm concluding. For the sake of your children, for the sake of your children's children, for the sake of your generation, 
serve God. Do good works. Remember your children. May they, may they come to planet Earth and say, thank God for grandma. Thank God for grandpa. Thank God for our great grandmother. Thank God for our great grandfather. Because you served God. It's a choice. You can either position yourself to do the right things because we saw it clearly to do the the the, world, the kingdom and position yourself. You can choose to rightly align with kingdom principles, do them, and your whole lineage enjoy. Or you can choose to know all of these. We we'll study this month and put them as notes mm, in your library, my dear. There's no time to be copying. Take down notes that will never do. Why? Because the blessing is for the door. Remember your generation and live righteously. Remember your children and live righteously. If you've heard me talk about anything posterity, I always give this example of the research that was done um, in the US. Two families were traced transgenerationally. They realized that the, the, the pick the parent from a certain year, that the starting point was a certain year, two men, one man was the head of a gang and one man was a clergy. They traced their lineage from the gang of the clergy, from the, the, the lineage of the clergy, they saw great state men, they saw school teachers, they saw nurses, they saw great politicians from the lineage of the gang leader. They saw what? everything you don't want to think about listen remember your generation and serve god i know what you think you think that your service to the lord is in vain i came with a good news to tell you no he said even if it's a cup of water in his name to a prophet he said anything that you leave aside you drop or you were forcefully accused what Whatever it could be, the person that's not cute, whatever it is that is thrown at you because you're serving him, he said, You will be rewarded a hundred times more in this life, and then you will make it with him in eternity. What's your choice? My choice is kingdom rewards. Now that you know kingdom rewards, I want to pray for a group of people. The first people I want to pray for are those who are believing the law for marriage. Because I tell you the rewards of serving God, you cannot finish this reward. Therefore, you need to be married. Why? Because the atmosphere for having children, the kingdom way, is a godly home. Somebody says, I don't really think I want to be married. I can have spiritual children and they will take my reward. That's okay. But this prayer is for those who want to marry, marry like a woman that wants to marry a man so they can bring godly seed so that as they are serving the Lord, all of their areas and accumulation will go to their children. I also want to pray for those who are believing the Lord for children. Your marriage, godly marriage, kingdom marriage, but they are not children yet. I want to pray for you. The Lord told me, pray. <laughs> if you know me, I don't pray in the teachings. I only pray if I'm led to in this, this kind of prayer specific prayer is because i was instructed and i know he has already answered because we have a god that has a covenant with the view family he said when you call me i will answer he said if you pray i will answer he said our prayers make tremendous power available he showed us he said when humble people pray i will hear i have chosen to humble myself and believe that he wants to bless people with marriages Wherever you are listening to me under the sound of my voice, I pray for you. It doesn't matter the case you've been put under. <laughs> it is broken and you're released into your marriage. It doesn't matter the pronouncement. It doesn't matter if people don't marry in your family. I decree according to this word, according to the instruction that was laid on my heart. I decree and I declare you will marry and you will marry good. You will marry well in the name of Jesus. But I pray for beautiful children. Every child in this family, 
every young adult, every child that will be born that is represented in the pure lineage forever. They will marry and their marriages will be great. All the children that will come through our lineage will not suffer in their marriages in the name of Jesus. Lord, our children will receive our rewards because they are blessed even before they get married. Their children's children, the same thing. Lord, I pray for those who are believing you for the fruit of the womb, the rightfully marriage, rightfully positioned, trusting you. Ah, I see like twins given to somebody under the sound of my voice. Two boys, two boys. I pray, Lord, for the grace to receive these twin boys. And Lord, as they are received, they will be a blessing to their parents. I also pray, Lord, for anyone that is saying, Father, give me a female child or give me a boy child. Give me a man child or give me a daughter. But I ask that their prayers be answered in the name of Jesus. But I'm asking, oh God, that you will cause your people to smile. Your word says that you crown our year with good things. Let everyone under the sound of my voice receive the arrears of their rewards in the name of Jesus. Everyone under the sound of my voice will not enter 2022 with any reward hanging in the name of Jesus. We begin to decree and declare according to your word that has come to us, Father, that this is a season of rewards, a season of rewards and jubilations, season of rewards and gratitude. Let it be so for everyone that is under the sound of my voice. As you brought us through the month of October, we say thank you again for showing us kingdom rewards. We receive the grace to walk in this reward. We receive the grace to never be weary doing that which will bring reward. We receive the grace to seek you diligently. Every wicked spirit, every wicked spirit of, of weariness, distraction, and discouragement, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I say you are in. Going forward in the month of November, we serve the Lord with gladness, we serve the Lord with joy, and our rewards are settled in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Amen and amen.